Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash and Supergirl. We've got some questions that you guys have asked, and I'm going to be answering all of them in today's video. So if you do go on to enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So the first question we're going to be answering, and these all come from you guys on YouTube, is, is the original timeline Flash ever going to reappear? So, obviously over the years we've been theorising about whether he's going to come back or not. You sort of presume maybe Crisis, because Barry would have to go back in time, run with Reverse Flash, and you would eventually reach that point where you get the original timeline version of Barry that we saw when Nora was killed. So, obviously over the years we've thought that this is going to happen. But to be honest, since Crisis happened and since Crisis changed everything and how, you know, the whole world has changed, it's Earth Prime now, and basically what was supposed to happen in Crisis, which would link to Nora's death, actually turned out to not be true, it turned out to be a completely different thing. So I would say at this point there is a very slim chance that we'll ever see that version again. Obviously it would be perfect if they went back to that version of himself where you actually see him and the Reverse Flash running back in time and him, you know, having to save young Barry, run young Barry away from the house and then obviously let Nora get killed by the Reverse Flash and obviously have that kind of iconic fight that we've been seeing over the years and so I would say at this point it's very unlikely that we're ever going to see that original timeline Flash but it would be very fitting if it happened towards near the end of the series. And so the second question is, will Gideon ever be explained? So I would say that obviously, again, like the original timeline version of The Flash, this is something that has been sort of lingering since the start of season one, where we were first introduced to Gideon. You know, it was eventually said that Barry would create Gideon in the future. But to be honest, I don't see a point where we're actually going to see him create Gideon. I think this is just a thing that's going to continue into the future and they will say, oh, you know in this version the future Barry creates it at this point but we will never see it in the TV show that's my guess as of right now but anyway so let's move on to the next question so this comes from Melee on YouTube I don't know if I'm saying your name right but you said do you think mon could come back on Supergirl someday maybe in season 6 so yeah obviously there is the possibility for him to come back I would love him to come back and I'm sure many of you guys would want him to come back but I think it's mainly down to Chris right now because he's really booked up because he's got this new show, I forgot the name, but then he's also got the He-Man show with Kevin Smith where he's the lead, he's the lead in both of these shows so he's going to be very busy at least for the next year so I would say season 6 is probably off the cards but if Supergirl goes on further than that I'd say that mon can definitely return and you know at least make some cameo appearances here and there or like one guest spot appearance like he did for the 100th episode. Okay, so moving on to the next question, this comes from Alex Singh on YouTube, he says, talk about next year's crossover and the ideas that they could do. So, I think I'm only gonna say one, because I've had this idea and I've said it a few times over the last few years as to what they could do, and I think it would be really great. Obviously, I don't know how linked Supergirl is gonna be this year, considering what's happening, and I don't know when the crossover is gonna happen, if things go bad in terms of you know filming schedules and stuff like that because it's supposed to air around December slash November time and I don't know if we're gonna physically be able to do that this year however I think a really cool idea would be to finally do War World because you've had all this stuff one else referenced it on Supergirl before he said oh I once went to War World or something like that he says I'm along those lines and I just think it's a really cool concept to have Mongol in it because like he's a really good villain he's sort of like your sort of step up I would say from the version of the Anti-Monitor we saw yes the Anti-Monitor is supposed to be like the most powerful being ever but on the TV show he really wasn't and I think Mongol would be like you know a kind of step up if they actually go like to how powerful he is in the comics and in you know the DC animated stuff. So I think War World would be a great idea, you could see our heroes fighting each other, I think that would make for an interesting concept. And yes, so let's move on to the next question, this comes from Joshua Turner on YouTube, he says, Do you think that we will get more Super Flash crossovers from now on? So, I would hope so, 
and maybe this is the case maybe they'll do some smaller crossovers considering that arrow isn't on anymore so maybe they you know tone down the four way or five way or however way crossover it's going to be by the time we get to you know next season or the season after and maybe they do go back to those one or two show crossovers where you have like Supergirl and the Flash crossing over which were some of my favorite episodes ever duet and world's finest i thought they were amazing so i'm really hoping for something like that once again but i don't know how likely it is but i would say it's more likely now that arrow is gone okay so let's move on to the next question what will happen with supergirl season six i've talked about this and this comes from jmaster98 on youtube and i've talked about this a bit so supergirl season six is kind of in like the middle of not a very good situation I think they may not be able to film until about October November time if all goes sort of according to how it was supposed to go like Melissa was supposed to be on maternity leave from about June slash July time to about November slash late October and then they would go back to filming so I've talked about this quite a few times over the past like week or so and it seems like maybe they would have to film around November, December time, and they would have to premiere season six in the mid season. So obviously changing the whole schedule for the whole season and it will probably be a shorter season. So that's what's up with Supergirl season six. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. BG on YouTube asks maybe about the new Superman and Lois show. So all I can really say right now, I don't know about too much. I know they cast like some younger versions of some characters recently. Obviously you got Superman and Lois, but in regards to the show, I thought they were going to show like the first episode, like the pilot at Comic Con this year. But obviously we don't know if Comic Con's going ahead, and the Superman and Lois show has been filming. I'm guessing they've definitely been stopped and their production has been halted. So I don't know when it's actually realistically going to air. Is it going to be the fall or autumn, you know, whatever you call it, or is it going to be later in the year, like the mid-season, like, you know, Supergirl is in danger of being. So I think, so I think that's a possibility. Okay, so let's move on to some of the final ones. So Felicity Smoke on YouTube says, New Gods. So I wanted to include this because I think in regards to the crossover question, New Gods could be something that they could totally do. Obviously it would be a really really big kind of topic that may be a little bit too big for the TV shows to handle but I think they handle Crisis pretty well they definitely handle Crisis on FX very well so New Gods would be definitely a massive step up because that's one more step to Darkseid who is basically you know the biggest thing in DC so I think New Gods would be a great crossover idea and I think it would definitely live up to maybe beating Crisis on Infinite Earths. And also she asked about some Green Lantern stuff, so what's going on with Green Lantern? So I don't know if you're ever gonna see like John Diggle as Green Lantern. Obviously that's an idea that everyone is totally in for and everyone has been teased with, especially with kind of the crossover and the last few episodes of Arrow. There was that teaser with John having that green light sort of shine all over him. And obviously that's in direct reference to potentially becoming a Green Lantern so that might be a possibility also the HBO Max show the version of Green Lantern we're gonna see on there we don't know who it's gonna be but I'm guessing it's not gonna be John I'd say it's very unlikely we would see him there however apparently it's going to be linked to the Arrowverse so we'll obviously have to wait and see as to what's going on there but I think there is a possibility that the Green Lantern show could be linked to the Arrowverse and we maybe might see John Diggle as a Green Lantern at some point in the future. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.